I'm gonna throw it. I don't think I would either, but they'll be content to punt this thing out and bag grabbing up. And like you say, the Hawks haven't had a long drive uh, for points in two over right at two games now. So they're gonna rely on that defense. I think they'll run it here. We might have a mix up on the field. Perhaps too many players, it is. Dan River had too many players. They have to take a timeout. And we'll take it too. You're listening to Gretna Hawks football on ESPN Radio. Two shovel passes. Two shovel passes. Yes. When he's dropped back, he could have been thrown for loss and had to jump. Altavista leading or down? 21 14. Okay, all right. 21 14, Rustburg. All right. That's fine. That's fine. Welcome back. Third down and 15 for the Wildcats. And again, they've got too many players on the field. <laughs> All right, he runs off. And now we're set. A little uh, pitch going right. Breaks one tackle around the end and cannot get out of bounds. Cannot get around. He'll just step out of bounds. And it brings up fourth down. And I think they'll punt this away, Bob. You know, again, Stuart, the Gratton defense, I, in, in my uh Mine. I, I think they're doing a real, real yeah. good job against Dan River this whole second half right here. We've had two big runs against them tonight, but uh, hey, it was just, uh, they've been doing that all year. We got somebody else injury. That, I hope it ain't against Grutton. Okay, on the far side, we got a Hawk engine on this Dan River sideline. It's uh, been that kind of night. This might be a cramp. I don't know. It is kind of warm out tonight, but we don't know yet. Taking a look over there, they got his leg up like it might be a cramp. Yeah, and, they, they and hold that leg out. up, they're rubbing it out. And that would be that's good news be. if it's only a cramp. That's going to be Dion, eh? Well, Dion's on the field. Saw him. It's not Dion. I don't know who it is on that far side. Uh, All right. I he's talking saw, to. Uh, I think I saw Rosser. Yeah, no. Right coach, he's yeah. out there. Coach okay. Saunders is talking to Rosser. Okay. Um. Wildcats, you know, you just got to think they're going to punt it away here. The Hawks are going to have to put together two scores in order to get back to victory if possible. And so uh, another substitution in, number 45 for Gretna. And uh, that's uh, Timmy Davis. We're calling some names we hadn't called much. Uh, Tim played it in, in, in the William Campbell game this year. So he's in here, and he's a pretty good little running back. But he comes in on defense here. So we've got a, okay, I'm thinking it's number 44 for Gretna. Uh, that's who I'm not seeing on the sideline and on the field. That, Matt, Glass. Matt Glass. Yep. And he's up. It appears to be okay. Yeah, he's running off the field now. Matt Glass is going to be all right. He'll be back in our show. Gets that leg straightened out. It's nothing but a cramp. All right. That's the best news we've had all night. That's a, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's At least he can run off. He's trying to catch again, though. I can see it. <laughs> uh, yep. They got to rub on that one. You ain't supposed to rub them, you know. <laughs> all right. He'll go over, and the trainer will work on him, try to get him ready. All right. Punting situation. Boy, it would be great if they could get a block again. They're not going to get it, though. And a good punt. Ooh. Clements, he catches it and falls down, so uh, he did catch that one. Yeah, he did catch it. So <laughs> got to feel pretty good about that. 26-yard line, so it looks like a 20. 27, 27-yard yeah. line. Okay. Yeah. Well, we now a, we, we got to find out who, who is our running backs right now. now we're, down, uh, we're down two receivers. Glass is out. Bennett's out, of course, with the injury. So we're down two receivers. We're down two running backs. Uh we're just creating here. <laughs> oh. uh, 
Coach Saunders is having to do a whole lot of creating here on the fly. It's going to be Logan at running back, I believe, 21. And Rosser to take the snap shotgun back to pass. Under pressure going up for top, and it's going to be intercepted by Edmonds. Edmonds coming across the field and brought down at his 43-yard line. Edmonds had glass covered like a glove, and uh, that ball was thrown inside. The only way you can complete that, that is throw it outside. Yeah, that was... That was Edmonds all the way on that one right there. Edmonds is on the inside. If you throw it inside, there's no way Glass can get to it. And that was a, just a desperation throw right there by Rosser to try to make something happen. Yeah, because you're already down 20 to 6 right now and uh, in this football game. <clears throat> Nine minutes and 31 seconds, but, you know, uh, let's do it. Hawks are going to take a time out here. Let's take it to, we'll be back in just a moment. It's Dan River 20, Gretna 6. You're listening to Gretna Hawks football on ESPN Radio. Hey. Let's see. I keep forgetting to give these scores. Making a game out of it, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice tackle right there by number 18. Welcome back. Virgil Glass, number 19. Nice glass. Welcome back on first and 10. Stevens caught in the backfield and Virgil Glass on the stop. Loss of three, second and 13. You know Virgil Glass, Bob, um, has turned into a real good defensive player he really, for the Hawks. Yes, he's yeah. very physical out there and uh, he's doing a good job. Six foot two, weighs 190 pounds, and I mean, he's got a good size to him. All right, second down play. It's going to be handoff. Stopped in the backfield. That's uh, Lil Witcher Heyman, who stops uh, Terrell Edmonds. Terrell Edmonds right there. Another stop, so. loss. Fourth down. One yard loss makes it third, third down. Feet. Check out third and about 14. Gretna defense, you know, if you can get a turnover. Matt Glass back in the game, by the way, for Gretna after the cramp. All right, third and 14. They'll run out of the eye. Two receivers to the right side. And here's the handoff. Stopped at the line. Nice submarine in there. I believe we got a little extracurricular activity at the end of the play. And boy, you hate to have a penalty when you got fourth down coming up. Hopefully this is going to be offsetting at best. Look out, they are. Uh, um, we, well, we got. Look out, Richard, right out there. Uh, if somebody gets thrown out of this game, you know they're going to be out next week too. So you got to. Let's see what the. Be careful. Uh, let's see what. I'm hoping it's going to be offsetting penalties. We'll see. Because the Hawks made three good defensive stops on they that did, series. They did. Yes. And this happened after the play, so it's going to be 15 yards, one way or the other, or offsetting. There's two flags. I think it's the same penalty, however. One thing I didn't like, I did see the Dan River players on the sideline come across, uh, and that's a no-no, too. Uh, and uh, both both teams are going to have to keep their heads here. Uh, of course, Dan River won last year, and uh, they're looking to make it two in a row, and the Hawks don't like it. <laughs> uh, but you got to do something about it on the scoreboard. And we'll see who this penalty is against. All right. 
if it's against Gretna, it's going to be automatic first down. I'm not sure what they're going to call. They may may not call anything. <laughs> Let's see. All right. All right, it's against both teams. Both teams. So, so it's going to be fourth down. That's what I like on both teams. This, this all happened after the play, so it's fourth down. Penalty's all set. Brings up fourth down. And Dan River will punt it away. And again, if if you're grabbing, if you can get a block punt, anything at all, you know, I'm thinking put ten men on the line, Bob, and and try to block it. Well, right at this point in the football game, you have to do you have to do everything you possibly can to try to get possession of that football. All right, we got a timeout, Dan River. Timeout, Dan River. <laughs> Dan River didn't have enough players on the field, and they had to take a timeout. Uh, so we'll keep it right here. Uh, Seminole Sunoco Food Mart, Highway 29, south of Gretna, is proud to sponsor Gretna Hawks football. They're open till 11 o'clock on Friday nights, and of course they've got Sunoco gas available 24/7, including diesel and non-ethanol gas as well. Pizza by the slice for $2.69, the whole pizza $8.99 as well. Pepperoni, cheese, supreme, uh, hot wings and barbecue, hey that sounds good. Seminole Sunoco Food Mart has uh, grab and go breakfast biscuits in the morning along with uh, pastries, coffee, cappuccinos, smoothies and an ATM is on site as well there at, uh, at uh, Seminole Sunoco Food Mart and again that's Highway 29 south of Gretna. All right, fourth down play here and a punt. And again, if I'm Gretna, you, you've got to get two scores. You almost have got to block this punt. Uh, but they're not going to rush 10. They, they can't because there's a couple of receivers. But, they, but they're playing it a little bit safer than I think. Here's a rush. He gets it away, and it's a good punt. And Clements catches it. Clements block in the back, and uh, that was number six with a block in the back. That's, that's another flag. All right, we got our extra. We're going to have um, we're going to have an unsportsmanlike conduct against Gretna, in my opinion. Number 17 for Dan River was just nailed after the play was over at midfield. Two flags there. There are two flags down at the 30 so uh, 35 yard line or so. There was a definite block in the back by Gretna on the return. And, um, it's going to be unsportsmanlike conduct right here around the 50-yard line. It's for Dan River, they're just going to be able to decide which penalty to take yeah. here because there's two. Possibly they're uh, both of them because one of them happened, I think, after the play. So let's see. Yeah, you're right. Let's see what happens. And, and if that happens, the fans here at Gretna are going to be highly upset. But uh, we'll see. All right, there's Rocking the block in the back. Okay, so far that's all they're calling. They picked up the other flags, did not indicate what that was. Yeah, I think that's going to be a 15 yard. Uh, all right, so we were hoping for a block punt, and instead we got a penalty, and we're backed up at the 20 yard line. All right. I can't. Uh, I can't tell who Greta's running backs are right now. <laughs> I think I it's Logan. It could I be think. Logan still back there. You know, Cook was doing a great job back there. Yeah, out. he's ran the ball a few times. Yeah. Effectively. All right, we're ready. Rosser going to be running for his life. Here's a good throw over the middle. He overthrows. But we've got our receiver down. And uh, we also have an injured Wildcat at the end of that. I think he's going to be okay. Brings up second and ten. That was uh, Curtis Stevens. He's up. It appears uh, to be all right. I tell you what, uh, <laughs> Hawks wanted some in interference on that yeah. one. The fans did, not the players. The receiver failed. I didn't see whether he was contacted or not. Uh, the ball was in the air, and he failed. Uh, the intended receiver was number 11 for Gretna. That's uh, Andrew Wilson. Second and ten. And here's the handoff. Logan breaks one tackle. Turning ahead, he's near first wow, down. He did. He got about nine on that. He, he carried about two or three with him too. That's uh, Jaquan Logan on a nine-yard carry makes it third and one coming up. Nine-yard game makes it third and one. 
All right. It'll be single setback. Rosser goes under center. And Rosser to keep, and he. I don't boy, think he got it. He might have got it on his second effort. Boy, Somebody he had him around the helmet. There. He gets a good spot. I think he's got it, Bob. He, they moving the chain, but it was. Rosser's yeah. Good for another right the Hawks. First down. And the Wildcats will be content to give up those few yards here and there uh, because the clock is becoming the big enemy now. Right now, six minutes and 59 seconds to go in this football game, and Grutton needs some scores. 20 to 6, Dan River leading. Rosser takes the snap, looking to throw under pressure. He's able to get out of there. Comes up the field. Nice open field tackle by number 13 Anderson, I believe. That was a good good tackle because nice. Rosser had more room to run. Makes second and seven. And that's the quarterback for Dan River making a good tackle there on defense. All right, second down and seven. Three receivers left side. Rosser looking left, throws, tipped, intercepted. Oh That's Edmonds, number two. Hey, Tremaine Edmonds on the deflection. The deflected ball was up in there, and when it goes up, it's in about his football, Stuart. You know, so. All right, hit him in the hands and just bounced up. And Edmonds was able to dive and catch it before it got back to the ground. Looking at some scores, Heritage and Brookville got a tight game going. Heritage leading Brookville 17 to 14, last uh, report. Blacksburg over Cave Spring 14 to seven. Here it's Dan River 20, Gretna six. And this offense for Gretna is, is just ailing big time, Bob. We just yeah, hadn't been able, we uh, hadn't put any points on yeah. the board in two weeks. Um, other than a two yard run. And that's about it. All right, here's handoff up the middle, pushed back, maybe got a yard or two. And on the carry coming out of there is number, hmm, I didn't see him. <laughs> All right, gain of one, second and nine. One yard gain makes it second and nine. All right, both Edmondses are now in on this play. It might have been uh, Stevens on that last run. I'm not sure. Second and nine for the Wildcats, and they're taking their time now because they can. Oh, yeah, they need to let the clock now. The clock is in their favor. They have possession of the football, and uh, they have... Uh... All right, here's the handoff. That's Edmonds through the hole and almost came almost out the other end. Close to the first down. It'll be third and short. <coughs> well, we're going to be looking at five minutes to go in this football game. And, uh, Stuart, like you said, Gretna's down 20 to 6. And uh, third down in one yard. And I think Dan Ribble would just love to control this ball game from here on out. At one point, we were tied 6-6. Six, six. Gretna recovered a fumble right at the uh, Dan River goal line and scored. And we were tied at six. And that was the last time the Hawks put any points on the board. And it was really gift wrapped from Dan River on the fumble. Third and uh, about two. Hawks showing blitz. Here's the handoff. And I don't think he made it. It's going to be fourth down. Fourth and about a half a yard, I think, Bob. I tell you what, I I am still pleased with the Gretna yeah. defense tonight, Stuart. Yeah. They have uh, they have stopped the running backs from uh, Dan Rubber uh, a couple of times now. Dan Rubber has broke it, and the uh, Hawks defense has been on the field most of but the game. But they have been on the field the whole the third and fourth quarter. Uh, well, our yardage in the second half is going to be—it's uh, going to be almost embarrassing because yeah, we don't even uh, with I, the quarterback sacks, we're going to be close to uh, negative yards in the second half. All right, fourth and short, keeper by the quarterback, push at the end, he's got it. Thirteen Anderson with the carry. Anderson kept it, and he's in for the score. Still have enough for the first down. In for the, uh, for the first down, down that yeah. is not, not score. Yeah. All right, first and 10. Ball now is at the 32 of Gretna. 
Wildcats can just eat the clock up. Don't have to, they don't have to score, but uh, you you know they'd like to. Oh yeah, they like to uh, punch to another one in. On here. Three minutes and twenty eight seconds. A lot of the Gretna Hawk fans begin to leave now. All right, first and, and ten, quarterback under center. Here's the handoff to number two, Tremaine Edmonds. Edmonds with the carry. Short yardage. Actually got an assist getting up for one of the Gretna players. Yeah, that one of the nice. Gretna players right that gave him a hand. And, uh, second and ten. All right, second down and ten for the Wildcats. All right, to the line, taking their time on second down. Here's the handoff. That was a mix-up on that play. He gets away, though. That's number seven, Stevens, Stevens down the sideline. for the touchdown. And, wow, on a busted play, too, Bob. Curtis oh, Stevens. Wow. 32 yards. It was a busted play, but he was able to break yep. out of the containment and go down the uh, right sideline, and that runs the score to 26-6. to six. That's the man I'm going to go to eat. And uh, I doubt uh, they could go for two or they may kick. I don't know. Kicker's coming in. Yeah. That's... All right. Well, the Hawks needed to regroup tonight after the Blacksburg loss, and they just didn't. Just no, they didn't couldn't. They did not. They they did not regroup tonight. No. Yeah. Two losses in a row. Uh, boy, I'm, I'm gonna have to remember back. Uh, last time that happened. Uh, that kick was good. Extra point attempt is All right. good. It's good and so the score goes score to Dan River 27. And we're leading 6. 27 to 6. We'll come back. You're listening to Gretna Hawks football on ESPN Radio. Did we lose to Dan River last year and then you lose in the playoffs? Is that two in a row? Uh, is that the last game of the season last year? Gosh, I don't know. Was I can't it remember. Uh, I, I think it was. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Okay. Go back to when we lost. Two straight. Yeah. Two straight. We let Ravens see them lost. That's been a while. Long. I'm sorry. Say that again. When was the last two consecutive Ravens see them lost? Wow. Okay. That could be 10 out of 26 yards. 65 yards. One Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. We lining up on the wrong side of the field, Bob. Well, that's all right, they it's probably about <coughs> well off the bit and that's up on the end. <laughs> All right, welcome back. <laughs> uh, well. Hey, Rustburg and uh, Alta Vista got it going on 21 all oh. over there. So that's a good game. This one here has gotten away from the Hawks the last uh, couple of series as uh, Dan River has just tacked on one and they lead it 27 to 6. And the Hawks are running out of players here tonight. It's uh, it's been a rough night. Injuries to Jeremiah Chambers, to Chris Hall. All right, here's a quick kick out picked up finally by Gretna. That's a uh, big lineman there, number. No. He pushes that ball ahead. He's still running with it, all the way down to the 35-yard line. Hey, we found our running back. Found another huh? good running back. We right found there. our running back. Number 30, I think. Was that Raekwon Stone on the run? I don't know. I can't get his number. Yep. It could, was it yeah. Stone? It was. Well, he done a good job. Stone with the return. <laughs> I don't know if one of him is number 90. All right. Check it. Check it. Number 90. Graves with the return. All right. I'm still looking for him. He's right here. Okay. Come right. back, Kevin. All right. Hawks have a great field position at the Dan River 35. We got a new quarterback too. Quarterback is number two. Jefferson. Has a pretty good arm. He's going to give it off number 11, go around the left side, and uh, 
Wildcats still have the first string, first string defense in for the Wildcats, so they're not going to. Stuart, let me tell you how they uh, run down in the first quarter. They, Dan River had a 50-yard run. In the th uh, third quarter, they had a 65-yard run. In the fourth quarter, they had a 26-yard run. And then they had a 22-yard pass play. Big runs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Gretna defense is just worn out because they have been on the field all night and uh, just had no help from the offense at all. Uh, the only points coming off a two-yard run after a fumble recovery. Here's number 33. Clements stacked up, stood up, gain of two. It'll be third and five coming up for the Hawks. Hey, we're on the road next week, Bob, heading to uh, Nelson uh, mm -hmm. County. And uh, Hawks with a two-game losing streak and... Uh, we were thinking it's been a long time since they lost two in a row in the regular season. They did lose two in a row to end last year. All right, here's the quarterback keeper. Breaks one tackle and slips at the end of that run. Hopefully he's okay. Boy, his footing came right off under him, Bob. And he's not getting up. Uh, it's just one of those nights, Bob. Uh, you know, he there hit. he's just trying to make a cut and he loses his footing. Yeah, he wasn't. Uh, he may have hit his head on I the ground. I think he hit. I think he went down. I think his head hit the ground pretty hard right there. It happened right here, right in front of the Gretna bench. All right. Uh, number two, there the uh, new quarterback, Demarcus uh, Jefferson. He is a senior. And. Uh, don't know if he it looks like he just slipped and 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 I think he just hit the back of his head on the on the uh, hard ground. Take a look at him. Well, it's only 54 seconds to go, so uh, Ross has to come uh, back he, in. He has to now. Ross has to go back into the ball game. So he's okay. He's up, but I think he just hit his own head. Oh, he's upset about it too. But looks like he's okay. That's yeah, he's thing. he's okay. He's upset because he had to come come out of the ball game. Okay, fourth down. Fourth and about four. Again, Dan River in control, leading twenty-seven to six. Hawks trying to get anything going on offense. And here's a handoff. Clements wrapped up, spun down, short of the first down. Dan River will take over. Thirty-three Clements with the carry tackle by. Just ain't happening for the Hawks offense here the last couple of weeks, Bob. But I, I don't know what the answer is. Well, uh, the injuries certainly have hurt them. You know, them we uh, we we talked about last week's football game, and now next week we've got to talk about this football game. And I don't know. It looks like there's no light at the tunnel right now. We done completely fell apart from what we was that first part of the year. Yeah, it uh, seems like a long time since that Brookville game, <laughs> and uh, it's just the last couple of weeks. Uh, we were living dangerously against Alta Vista and Appomattox. Oh yeah. And yeah. since then, uh, none of the breaks have gone our way. Apparently, yeah. you know, basically. So, but, but again, you can't. I see. Remember, I mean, we've been, you know, several yeah. ball, a lot of ball games this year. We picked up well over 300 yards yeah. a game. Uh, yeah. Stewart. Yeah. All right, they're going into the victory formation here, the Wildcats, mm -hmm. and uh, they're just going to snap the ball a few times, and that's going to be it. Wildcats uh, will. Knock the Hawks out of the unbeaten as far as the Dogwood District goes. And you got Alta Vista, Dan River, and Gretna. And Appomattox kind of right behind. Then Chatham and uh, William Campbell, Nelson County. All right, another snap. And uh, is that going to do it? Yeah. Okay. Final score here from Gretna High School is going to be Dan River 27. In Gretna 6. And uh, let's take a time out. We'll come back and discuss this and look forward to next week as uh, the Hawks try to erase the uh, taste of losing uh, that they've had in their mouths the last couple of weeks. So let's talk about that when we come back. Final score again Dan River 27, Gretna 6. You're listening to Gretna Hawks football on ESPN Radio. <laughs> Yes. Let's go to how many spots have we got for everybody? We. Yeah, 
Can we get them all four? Is that going to be doable? Okay. How many breaks do we need to do then? All right, do, do two minutes now and two minutes at the end. Can you do that? Okay, all right. Ooh, and if you get... Yeah, I think so. I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> Not much to talk about. All right. They all turned around, I think, on that pretty big call that time out. Even hey, let them scope, I think it turned around. They'll contend to run the clock out and take the band, and they'll give them an opportunity to come. I'm not going to play this place. Oh, I can't get back down on the floor. 